Okay, who wants to talk about deadlines? I've got nothing but deadlines up on the, on the screen here for February, May, and August 2022 exams. February has level one and level two. May, you've got level one and level three. In August, you have all three levels. So let's go through each one. For February, time is short. Look at this. Uh, level one, you have 61 days of preparation left. Level two, you got 68. If you assume 28 days for review, and don't, uh, don't throw this off, this, this period of time is important because this is where you consolidate all of that loose stuff in your mind and you solidify it. So you're going to need that. You really have uh, only 33 days um, to finish the content at level one and 40 days uh, at level two. So yes, I know the holidays are coming up and usually little is done between Christmas and New Year's, but if you can uh, knock off more hours now, by the time you get into January and February, you'll be thankful for that. Uh, so now's the time to, uh, uh, to bear down. Uh, all these dates are closed, uh, the registration date, scheduling deadline, but your rescheduling deadline uh, for level one is January 15th. That means rescheduling within the exam window. Uh, the exam window here is from February 15th to the February 21st. If you have to reschedule within the exam window, you have till the 15th of January. <clears throat> For level two, you have till the 22nd of January, and your dates are uh, February 22nd to 26th. Now, when I say 61 days, that is 61 days to the day before. I only count to the 14th, and here I only count to the 21st. So if your exam is on the 21st, well, you've got, uh, you've got six more days uh, than uh, what's printed here. So, but rather than say how many days to each possible exam date, I just put 61 to the very beginning of the exam window. Um, this year, we haven't done this for a couple of years now. We haven't sold our mock exams at level one and level two separately. Only at level three have we sold exams separately. Uh, but I've upgraded quite a bit of them uh, to a higher level of difficulty uh, for level one and level two. So we are going to sell them separately this year. Uh, they're 100 Canadian. For level one, uh, we, have, we don't have structured exams for level one. We have an exam bank. Uh, and then we randomize uh, your exam uh, so that we have enough questions in there that you can do three complete unique exams, uh, which means AM and PM three times. Uh, so that's six half exams that will all be unique. When you generate the next one, exam four, part one, uh, it'll be about 50 to 60% unique because some sections we run out of questions. So there's enough questions in there, uh, probably I think over 700, and each, uh, each exam is 180 uh, questions. So there's enough for four exams, but by the time you get to the fourth one, you'll see some of the ethics questions repeating, some of the equity questions repeating, but uh, you'll continue to get new questions in things like quant, derivatives, portfolio management, uh, corporate finance, things like that. So we randomize them. Level two, hard to randomize because they're vignettes and uh, they're all different types of points, four points, five points, six points. So you sort of have to fix them in place. We have three full exams. Uh, for level two uh, on that one. Um, all our paid content, by the way, is one fee to pass, which means if you buy the mock exams for level one or level two and you do not pass, uh, we carry them for free for you to your next exam window. You don't pay for them uh, again. Not only that, if you only pick up the mock exams and you do not pass for February and you reschedule, your next window is August. Uh, that's the earliest that you can reschedule. If you schedule for August and you feel that you want the full, uh, the full uh, subscription for that level, whatever you paid for the exam will come off that price. But pay attention over here, right? Uh, this is really the number of days that you have left to really get through the content. Um, if you go beyond that, you're really starting to dig into that review period, and that review period is critical. Uh, you're going, because all this stuff you put in your memory, uh, it's not in long-term memory. It does fade over time. That's only natural, that unless you have regular review periods, it all fades away. So you're going to want those, uh, those four weeks. 
If you are having trouble in particular sections, for our subscribers only, we do offer tutoring at an extremely low price, 65 Canadian. And we will allow up to three people on the session so that if uh, you and two of your friends want to pick up a couple hours of tutoring for, let's say, fixed income or quant, let's say you pick up uh, two hours, that's 130 Canadian, and there's uh, uh, three of you, well, you divide that by three. Each of you put in, uh, uh, you know, one third, and you'll have a tutor for three hours. The tutors we use uh, are all charter holders, uh, and for FRA, uh, there are also CPAs, CPAs and CFAs. Uh, and uh, they work in the discipline in which they tutor. So if you are getting a fixed income uh, tutor, they are a fixed income analyst. They are actually working in the field in which uh, they agree to tutor. So if you are having trouble, uh, we have tried to offer the most accessible price possible uh, for tutoring. Let's move on to May. Because uh, May seems like it's far away, but you know it depends on how we frame the problem, right? Level one and level three. Uh, early registration is closed for both, but registration is still open. You have till February eighth to make your decision uh, of whether you want to uh, write in May, uh, or or if you don't want May, then you have August. Early registration is still open over here. Um, so let's uh, uh, look at our deadlines here. Registration deadline, February 8th for both. Your scheduling deadline is February 16th and the rescheduling all the way into April. Um, for uh, level one, May 17th to the 23rd. Level three is May 24th to the 26th. That's 152 days at level one, 159 days at level three. Notice what I do for level three. Uh, I give you five weeks of review instead of four weeks of review because you're going to want practice at the AM uh, at the AM level. By the way, if you do have our full package here, uh, if you are a full subscriber on this one, we've, we've um, dramatically increased the, the amount of AM support. Uh, we used to have four AM exams uh, and we offered uh, drop-in grading sessions or drop-in tutoring sessions for these 64 hours before the exam or 64 hours spread out in the four weeks before the exam where you just show up and you can ask whatever questions you want on this exam. Uh, we've now brought it to a total of uh, four AM exams plus three uh, extra ones, but they're 180 points each, which is the equivalent of another four. So basically you have the equivalent of eight AM exams and each of them will have associated with them four hours uh, of uh, drop-in grading that you can attend. That's included uh, in the price. And, and that, those are the four weeks ahead of the exam, which is why I say 35 weeks. If you can nail the AM uh, section, the PM usually isn't going to give you any grief. It's the AM uh, that, uh, that usually is the uh, deciding factor of pass or fail. So we've, we've really loaded up on the AM support on this one. And we will also be selling the exams uh, separately. We'll have a number of different options if you uh, don't want the, the package subscription, a number of different options uh, to, to purchase where uh, maybe you'll only want the 4 a.m. that come with 4 p.m. plus two past CFAI exams that are upgraded to 2022 content. So you actually are getting 6 a.m. in there. Uh, if you don't want the drop-in sessions, uh, we sell that for 100. Uh, the second uh, package here, I think we're adding 75 for that. Uh, but you have to have the first one to buy the second. And then if you want to attend any of the, it's going to be this time 72 hours. Yeah, 72 hours of dropping grading up from uh, 60, 64 hours. Uh, 72 hours. Uh, that'll bring it to probably to 250. Uh, and the full package is only 415. So, you know, you can make your decision based on that. So let's, uh, let's reframe what we have here. We have 124 days. Uh, for uh, level one and level three, 100, the same amount of days because I've increased the review by one week for level three. Well, level one has 60 readings. That's two readings a day. Uh, sorry, that's two days per reading. That is a fast pace when you uh, uh, think about, you know, 300 hours being an average. And that's an average, by the way. That's an average of about five hours per reading. This is saying two and a half hours per day and that's just an average, two and a half per day. 
So when you reframe it in terms not of the total amount of days you have, but you break it down by, well, how many days do I have for each reading? Uh, two. That's it. Two days. So time is tight on this one, even though it seems like so far away, right? Level three only has 35 readings, three and a half days per reading, but level three brings you to a higher level of learning. So if you look at the stages of learning with uh, remembering being the lowest level of learning uh, and synthesis or, or sorry, not synthesis, but creation being the highest form where you're creating new knowledge. Uh, level three really is the um, two levels down from that uh, evaluation and synthesis. So there's a, a higher level of learning involved other than just do I need to remember all this stuff? No, you need to be able to make decisions based on a context of what is the optimal way to go. So um, three and a half days per reading on this one is also quite tight. So there you go for May. Let's have a look at uh, August because there's lots of time for August. Uh, you still have uh, early registration all the way to February 1st. That doesn't mean you can wait till February 1st. It just means you'll have a lower price if you go ahead and register now. I always think it's, it's always uh, better to have more time than less time. Uh, and if you act on something today, time is free. You, you get all that time. But if you say, well, I'll start next week, you lose one week of time, which makes the job that much more difficult. Um, buying more time now is easy. Buying more time a week before the exam simply can't be done. Uh, you'll have to, you know, move things off your schedule uh, to buy time. You, you know, you can't just say, well, I'll go another week. February 1st, and uh, here is your registration deadline, uh, May 3rd. I think that is very, very late to begin preparing for uh, August, by the way. Scheduling deadline is May 25th. That is to schedule uh, a date within the exam window. And your rescheduling uh, deadlines are all the way in July. For level one, uh, the, uh, it's August 23rd to August 29th. Uh, for level two, August 30th to September 3rd. Level three goes from August 30th all the way to September 6th. Here are the amount of days for level one, 250. For level two and three, 257. Again, this is the day all the way to the day before the exam window. We'll take off the 228 days for level one and two and the 35 for level three. Here are your content days. Uh, this is more than reasonable, uh, 30 to 31 weeks. So uh, level one, you have almost four days per reading. That's good. Now, that's a good pace because it also has within there uh, um, the unforeseen circumstances which happen to everybody's life for where for two weeks for some reason that's it you're not going to be able to put any time uh, in on this well there you go it already has it in there over here there is no time for that there is no time for life to show up you have to hope that life does not show up because every two days you got to get a reading behind you uh, level 2, 47 days. There's five days per reading. That is good as well. And for level 3, six and a half days uh, per reading. Uh, if uh, I've also put down next, next exam windows for each one. For February, if you uh, pass or do not pass, uh, your next exam window for level 1 or level 2 is August. So if you do not pass, you'll redo in August. If you do pass, you can move to the next level. Uh, in August. Uh, if you, if, if uh, you have to retake level one, it's August. If you pass level one, your level two is August. I should also say level three. I didn't put it in here, but your next exam window, if you pass level two in February, your next exam window uh, for uh, level three is August as well. Uh, for the May, you have level one and level three. Uh, level one, uh, your next exam window would be November uh, uh, if you do not pass on level one. And uh, for level three, if you do not pass on level three, your next exam window is February. Same with August. If, uh, if you do not pass level three, your next exam window is February. But for level two, it's all the way to May 2022. Anyways, um, there's the message right here. I'm just going to circle them again. Keep your eye on these. And, you know... You have, uh, you have a calculator. You can figure out how many days from the day you start to how many readings need to be done. You can calculate that. I encourage you to think about your time in terms of days. The smaller the increment of time uh, that you can uh, break a, a project down into, 
uh, the better the uh, the better the view you have of the chances of getting it done within that time frame. That's it.